Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more RimWorld Alpha 17. So, plan for today's video, I believe, is to finish off this wall first and foremost. This one up here is quite important to us. And I think maybe start working on the kill box once the rest of the wall's done. We're also starting up tailoring as well. Maybe that is something we should consider because I imagine, yeah, we've got ourselves some tattered apparel, so... Um, we can solve that problem soon enough, I reckon. Let's speed up the clock. So, we've got 40 marble. Loom is working on that. To finish this little bit of marble here is going to cost us... Excuse me. Oh, don't tell me it's... Oh, it's a blueprint. I'm being very silly. I thought that was a plan. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so it's already there. Five each one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, 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 whatever. CBA with maths. Who needs maths, right? Maths of, is for people who want to know how much marble that takes. And I can't be asked. Right. <laughs> we also want to eventually doubly thicken up the wall. This is obviously going to be a weak spot, like we mentioned, but we can um, fix that a little bit by making sure that our turrets focus fire on that bit if they do end up going through that part of the wall. And it, it means that this sort of open area as well can hit people as well. So that's something to consider. Alright. Starting to actually fix up our new bedroom. This is going to be our prisoner room for the time being. We want to make sure that wood fills this. Thank you, green. There we go. And... Oh, I was going to say... Can we haul that? But you're going to do it for me, aren't you? There we go. Just those three, please. Haul them. Um, do we have a dumping stockpile right now for that kind of thing? I don't believe we do. We had one down here and I deleted it before the episode because it was literally just a slice. I think we're going to put a dumping stockpile here for stone blocks. So, chunks. Stone chunks, please. Anything we tell, say to Hall goes there now, as far as stone chunks are concerned. We've almost finished up the wall. We're getting a fair bit of wood as well in doing so, which is sweet. Brian, the beast constructor. 12 construction, not bad. Not bad at all. And Gregor, I don't remember you being the number one crafter, but apparently you are. You're 11 on crafting, which is awesome. You're also the tailor as well, which is why we want to get that sorted at some point. In fact, let's have a look at what clothing we've got. I don't know why I'm pausing it. I'm going to let it run as it goes. Uh, you two are fine. You're fine. It's just Gregor who needs a shirt, essentially. So if I say make... Hmm... We're in tropical areas, so a t-shirt seems suitable. We can do, can we do the um, the pause thing? Yeah, we can do the pause thing. Just curious. We're only going to do it until we make one anyway, so. If that's the case, I might just set him to tailoring of one, since we've only got one bill going. And we just finished that little bit of wall up, so there's two places they can enter the base right now. We've got 120 marble already, so... It's not as if our constructors can't finish off this little bit of wall. In fact, they're almost entirely 40 off of it, which is not much at all in the grand scheme of things. Oh, dear. Yep, put that out, please. Come on, faster, faster. Wow. And that knocked out our power for the time being. Ooh, chunk of spaceship. Wow. All right, in our growing zones. Get them deconstructed. We'll get some steel and some components. We are getting low on components, so that is perfect. The eclipse, not so much. The eclipse means that our solar generators are not going to work. So it's on our wind turbine to power the entire base, which is just simply not going to happen. It's a good job it's night time right now. The 3rd of August. Yep. That's a, that's a name. Ooh, what was that? Someone got murdered. Ah, a chinchilla. We'll take it. 
Meals are good. Who's our cook and are they any good? Five, no. We do have three with a really good passion for it. Five with a slight passion, three with a really burning passion. I'm tempted to let Brian actually practice cooking. Tempted. Probably not going to. If we ever got like brewing or something like that going, I'd happily let him do that, but as far as um, cooking for the entire colony and potentially giving them food poisoning, not so much. Alpaca meters rotted away in storage. Yeah, well, we ain't got no power, unfortunately. Let me, you deconstructing? Yes, you are. All right. Nine components from that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Another eight from that. Brian, the best constructor. What do you get? How many? Eight. All right. So you get about eight to nine from that. I'm not sure if uh, deconstructing um, in terms of the new construction mechanic that they've got. I um, wonder if the yield that you get back from deconstructing changes. It's not something I'm aware of. Uh, in terms of, like, the mining, should I say. The same way that you only get a percentage depending on your, your skill. Alright, this forest over here seems to be growing quite fast. Burned trees are probably going to block... Um, Cells from producing trees, though, so it might look this thin forever. I'm not entirely sure. They might just deteriorate away. Only time will tell on that one. Alright, come on, solar eclipse. Go away. Go away. Oh, you're blocked by a tree. Yeah, we're going to have to sort this out as well. Uh, we can't keep having these trees blocking the way the reason why this one's not running right now. We're going to have to put some flooring underneath it is essentially the point. Um, but what I'll do instead, I think I want to go and build some wind turbines like so. Just to be a little bit more efficient on space, I can deconstruct that one then and maybe give Gregor part of his room back. That'll be nice. The eclipse is ending, we're getting all of our power back, wonderful. As soon as those trees go down, the wind turbine will start doing its business and we'll start generating some power a little bit faster. Blocked by the teak tree. Oh, there's another one. Please chop it. If you'd be so kind. Gregor, do you not know plant cutting? You do. Why are you cleaning? Oh. Is it a priority three? That makes sense. As soon as that tree's down, though, power should shoot up. Sweet. Right, let's connect these up. Um, let's connect it up back there. Like so. Create some extra paths. Run a power to each of those. This one goes along here. I'm gonna go up there and connect that way as well. Let's maintain multiple um, power line directions so that if we get a power cut or something destroys the power line then I don't forget that we're not actually producing anything anymore right we want to put down a floor over here as well um, we don't want concrete or paved tile because that's going to use steel I suppose we could just use wood flooring it's probably a lot easier right that's where it's going from so wood flooring like that ensures that nothing ever grows in the place of any of these uh, wind turbines so that they're constantly going. Like this one that keeps getting trees grown in its place, which is very annoying. I'm going to hunt that animal. It's not supposed to be in our base right now. Also that cobra might kill something. Seems like a good idea. Oh, where are you going? Hunting chinchilla. You go right for it. You just saved your life by uh, leaving. Please, Brian, don't kill anyone. Awesome. Ooh, Cassery wants to die as well. Enter my base at your own risk. We might start. Uh, 
training and Georgette. I tried attaching training and his name together all in one go there. Let's get hauling uh, trained for now. I don't know if we've got a decent handler. Yeah, seven. It's going to take a while, but I think it'll be worth it having another hauler in the area. And why not? We keep getting uh, idle colonists. Well, obedience is now trained. Wonderful. Does that mean you are greens? Yes, it does. All right, so what I'll do for you then, green. Let's have a look. How much? Um, 45. What is this? Cassowary leather. We've got a bit more there. All right, so we can make a cassowary leather sleeping spot for your dog that's now bonded with you. How's that sound? Ryan, you get on that as the best constructor. I want this to be a high quality one in case we end up selling it. Good quality. Nice. It'll also make the room look nice. But the dog went to sleep outside before we could even do it. Fair enough. I see how it is. Okay. So that bit of walls, in fact we've finished the wall now, so there is only one direction that they can head in, which is nice. So as far as the kill zone is concerned, we want a wall to defend on, something like that. So we want to mine out this section so we have a straight line path, and then we want to build a wall so that they're forced into coming down here. I think this might be a little bit iffy though. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to just scrap this idea and just start a kill box outside. But then again, we still have the problems with the river. It's actually more of an issue than I thought it'd be. Hmm. I'll think on that one. Sweet. Almost set up that lovely flooring. Cutting down all the trees gets us all the resources back. We've got idle colonists, have we? Yeah, I think I told you not to do any construction. So who's idle? Green and Gregor. Let's see. You've got tailoring to be done. Unless you've already done it. Oh, you won't have enough materials, will you? Oh no, you did it. You're wearing it now. Cool. Nice. Um, hmm. Don't think we want to give you like a jacket or anything like that, really, to be honest. Although, I suppose we will, because you've got nothing better to do. Make a jacket. That's the thing you can do if there's enough materials for it. I'm not entirely sure if there is or not. Uh, growing's entirely covered. I suppose we could start hauling... It's not really an important job by any stretch, but we could start hauling all of the stone block uh, chunks that are in our base into one location. Since nobody else has got anything to do, get them all right back on stone cutting point. In fact, somebody should be stone cutting, right? Oh no, it's paused. We do not need to produce anymore. Okay. Um, next thing then, the next thing to do, what have we got in terms of production that we're not doing right now? I think Gregor's good at everything, which is good, but doesn't really leave us with much for everyone else to do. Hmm. And nobody's researching, in fact, green, you should be on a four for research there. So that that gets done. Ah, we could do some wood flooring for our bedrooms. Also, Mikey the officer looks like he might need moving. Don't know about you, but having a random skeleton around our base seems like a problem. We don't have a dumping stockpile for corpses. You're absolutely right, game. For now, it's going to be down here because nobody goes down here. It's also in a marsh, so maybe they'll sink and we'll never see them again. Uh, let's strange corpse, human corpse. 
allow rotten corpse. Okay. Should have been done a long time ago, should this, but there you go. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Some items are always haulable, guys. No, that were a thing. There we go. There's our boneyard. If we ever get round to uh, cremation, we can sort that one out. Right. Furniture. Let's get a double bed into this room as well. Oops. Let's have some nice, even-looking rooms. Other than this one, but we don't talk about that. Probably going to de dis uh, de deconstruct this one and move it across. We're generating so much power right now that I don't think another wind turbine right now is even necessary and it means we can fix Gregor's uh, bedroom then. I think it might be time to start building all of our things out of non-wood related stuff. Um, because wood now has like extra flammability I believe. So we really don't want fire to spread. So if I ever make repairs to a room, I'm just going to make it out of marble. I don't, yeah, it's just completely neutral as far as people's love for it is concerned. Wish I could just go like that, but, you know. Let's, uh, let's deconstruct this wall. Like so. Set that for marble as well. I'll be able to get that done before everybody goes back to bed. And then at least if I deconstruct this wall, they're inside. And this is just going to make all of our buildings a little bit more durable. And... Just, yeah, okay. I'm going to make them a little bit more durable. And fire's not going to spread as easily. And we'll get a bit of wood from it. It's also nice. Hopefully that won't destroy the power cable. Looks like it didn't. Alright, awesome. Boom, and boom. Finish that, ladies and gents. Okay, I do believe that the order for stone cutting should be back on the table. Are we out of marble around here? Yeah, we are. That's marble, right? It is. Right, let's just set a little hall order for anybody who wants to go get it. Since it'll be coming here anyway. There we go. Anybody who wants to go haul that back to our stone chunkery can go do it. This is my name of the hauling zone. Stone chunkery. It's pretty nice, right? For the time being, I should probably cancel this order then, because nobody's idle anymore. Keep that one there. For the sake of it. Ooh, alpha beavers. Set them to hunt, and leave my hunters to it. They might actually start eating some away, away these uh, burnt trees, which will be fine, in all honesty. And it seems as though trees grow around really fast in this, uh, this biome, which is nice. Gregor's got a very impressive bedroom. Quite spacious. <laughs> it's actually awful, but I won't judge. He's got two beds in his room currently. Whoa. Hey, cargo pods. Full of limestone. What's that slate? 218 limestone. Don't know how much I care about that. It does save on uh, stone cutting stuff, but meh. We'll leave it. Alrighty then. So yeah, from this point forward, any buildings that we make will make out of stone chunks. In fact, can we... Let's just say make... Hmm. What are you? Granite and sandstone. Say, add a bill. Do until we have... 85. Nah, let's go for 100. 
Do until you have 100. Pause when satisfied. And if we've used 50 of it, go back up to 100. Seems about right. And we'll do the same with sandstone. Oops. Do until you have... It's going to give some people some stuff to do for a while, but once it's satisfied, they won't be doing it anymore. And we probably won't be using uh, half those stone blocks, so there will not be any need for them to go back to it constantly. We've almost trained you in hauling. That is insane. I'll train you in rescue as well. Wild boar has been self-tamed. Awesome. Definitely wanted that. That being said, they did, um, they did say that um, hot uh, breeding animals for the purposes of eating them is now more viable. So let's find ourselves a male wild boar, shall we? Tame it. I know there's a 1.8% chance that they'll attack back, but I think we'll be fine. In fact, who is our handler? It's green. What weapon have you got? A blade. Ugh. <laughs> oh dear. I suppose that's fine. Alright. Are you an omnivore? I believe you are, aren't you? Vegetables, raw meat, corpses, seeds. Yeah, okay. You'll eat anything. Good to know. Lumi's almost finished Gregor's room. Which is cool. And that lovely storm has ended. Looks like Brian shot one of the uh, alpha beavers and then left him to die. Fair enough. Oh dear. Well, it's extra meat for us though, so it's not actually a bad thing at all. Should also, I always forget to do this. Um, delete zone. Create a stockpile zone. Make it critically important and only allow meals. So that that fine meal right there, that simple meal, sorry, gets put there first, so it's closest to the door. Should delete that prisoner bed as well. We're going to turn this one into a prisoner bed if it comes to it. I feel like I need to fill that in if I'm going to put a marble wall there. It's going to bug me otherwise. And then we want to fill that in there so it's the same size as every other room because, you know, we're not cruel. Everybody deserves equal amounts of luxury in Camp Luminous Grove, which I believe is the, still the name. Oops. God damn it, loading. I believe it's, yes, it is the Luminous Grove. Yes. I was not wrong. Let's check I didn't deconstruct any power cables. Now we're all right. Might as well deconstruct that one right there, though. It's a little bit pointless. But multiple cables running all over the place, which is pretty sweet. Might connect that up there, actually. All right, guys. I think we're going to end off the episode there anyway. I feel like we made quite a fair bit of progress, although we've been slowed down with lack of power in some cases. And now we've finally got to the point where we have to haul stone chunks from outside of our base, which is a little bit annoying. We are being raided. Oh dear. Yeah, it's just three melee units. We'll fight them before the end. The episode ends, actually. All right, everybody come back. Brian, I'm looking at you, buddy. Being melee units, they're going to be slowed by the water, which actually means that Lumi, Brian... Gregor, you don't have a weapon, do you? That's an issue. We don't have any ranged weapons by the looks of things. Hmm. Those two uh, raiders up here, it looks like they weren't bringing any weapons either. Paw 83, Shoddy 12, Normal 35, Paw 20, Paw 20. Right, okay. Steel Spear is the best one. We've got two melee units. And. No, no, no not my animals! Um, the 
Flea! Flea ball! It's fine. If he dies, he dies. He's buying us time, I suppose. And they're only using clubs. Oh. They're only using clubs, so they can't possibly do that much damage. He says, looking at that horrible mess of mangled organs and limbs. Right. He's got our two melee units in, ready to close the distance. Brian and Lumi getting ready to shoot down anybody in our way. You should not be here. There is a way I can tell you not to do this. Uh, I think it's in... Is it in Green's thing? I can't remember now. But he's fine. He should be fine. As long as he doesn't keep going south. Oh my god. Close the distance. Protect the dog. He doesn't know what he's doing. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. They're fleeing. They're also dead. Right, dog. Please tell me. Oh, just bruises. Wonderful. Right. We do have two new potential prisoners. However, they are tribesmen, which means that their chances of recruitment are going to be slim to none unless we have a decent warden. And we don't. Not particularly, anyway. We'd need, like, 16 for me to really consider this. Then again, we've got plenty of food resources, so it's not as though... It's going to be a major drain. I guess we'll take one of them. I don't know which one we're going to take, though. You've got asthma, so I'm automatically considering you pretty horrible. Psychically sensitive and a slow poke. Yeah, you're probably not coming in. Psychically dull and gay. Incapable of dumb labor. Usually a deal breaker unless they've got decent stats, which he doesn't. All right. I actually couldn't care less about either of them, to be honest. So just strip the corpses, take their weapons, and move along. Nothing to see here. Also, uh, Lumi. Yes, rescuing white ball. Awesome. Right, anyway, guys, if you did enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like. It helps me out a great deal. Let's me know you're enjoying this series. As always, don't forget to hit that little bell icon as well right next to the subscription button, and that will give you notifications when the next video goes live. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.